with the drawers drying, it's probably a good time to go ahead and make some drawer guides which will fit on the inside of the lower frame. Now that I've got the drawer guides made, I just need to make a mark where I need to notch out this little section here so it'll fit up against the side. Okay, now that I've got it marked where I need to cut that little notch. I could use a saw to do that, but it, it's only about a sixteenth of an inch uh, deep, so I'm just going to use my uh, one inch belt sander and it's going to work out fine. And just, just like that, I've got a nice little notch here. It'll fit around the corner posts. And now that I've got this little notch cut, these drawer guides will fit neatly right into the side. Now that I've got the drawers all glued up, and that one's in place, and I've got the side guides in place in the drawers, and I can fit them in, make sure they're going to fit right, and I think that's going to work out fine. I just need to make some uh, stop blocks in the back. I've cut out four stop blocks, just little pieces of maple. And I'll set those in the back. And when the drawer goes back, it'll stop at the right point. I'll just glue those down without any clamps. Okay, I've got the drawers made and they seem to be fitting right. Now, before I can assemble the top, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little shellac here and cover the runners so that they'll be slick because I want these to be, I'm going to put some wax on them after the shellac is dried and uh, this will seal them and make them a little smoother for the drawers to run on because once this top is assembled on top, I'm not going to be able to reach in here to get to the runners. One kind of silly thing I like to do is enclose a note in my projects of when I made this uh, project and I also um, I tape in, in this case, a 2008 penny inside. So, you know, somewhere, you know, a couple hundred years from now, if somebody ever goes to <laughs> tear this thing apart, they're going to find, uh, you know, a little Easter egg. One thing to remember when you're assembling the top of the chessboard is you got it going the right direction. In this case, the drawers are going to slide through here, and so I want that to be on the side that the player sits. In which case, you want to make sure that the lower right corner is white. I want to make the drawer pulls now, and I decided just to use simple square blocks, and uh, the square will mimic the squares of the chessboard itself, and I think that'll that'll work out fine. I'm going to use three eighths inch. Uh, maple for the drawer pulls and rather than to machine them I'm just going to use a handsaw and a miter gauge. I've set up a little stop block here so I can cut four square knobs and it'll just take a simple matter. If I was to run this through the table saw it would probably just flick these out and I would never find them again so now I just need four of these and uh, we'll be in business. It's going to be a little tricky to line these up nice and square with the drawer fronts. So, first thing to do is uh, I need to find the center of each of these square pulls. And to do that, I'm just going to draw diagonals from each corner, and now I've got the center point. With that center point drawn, I'm just going to drill a very tiny hole right in the middle. Now I'll take a small three-quarter inch brad and just tap it gently into the center of that hole just strong enough for it to hold. And I'll take some clips and just clip off the head. So now I've got something I can actually stick into a hole in the drawer front to let me line it up nice and square. To glue the drawer pulls onto the faces of the drawers, uh, what I did is I just made this really simple template. I've got two square edges and I put uh, arrows on here so I know which way it goes. And 
what I'm going to do is just line it up so it's flush with the top of the drawer. Make sure it's on there right. And I also uh, pre-drilled a hole in the top so that that way I can move this template from one side to the other side and to the other drawer and uh, they'll all be at the same location. So all I'm going to do is just drill a small hole and that will allow me to center the drawer pull. Now that I've got those little holes drilled in the faces of the drawers and I've got my drawer pulls made and I've got the little pin that I made in there I'll just glue these up and set them in those holes to align them and I'll just eyeball it to make sure that they're square. I've got some quarter inch uh, scrap wood that I'm going to make uh, feet for the bottom of the chest set. These are going to be one and a quarter inch squares and uh, when they're done I'll end up uh, covering them with felt or leather. I haven't decided yet. I found some scrap leather that I had for an old project and uh, there's just enough in it that's going to work out fine to use for uh, the bottom of the feet. So I'll, first I'll just cut these out. Like so. For gluing the leather to wood, I am, uh, I'm just going to use contact cement and I'll just smear it on the wood. And the nice thing about contact cement is it, it dries very quickly and it adheres to both the leather and the wood, so uh, it's a pretty good choice. Now I'll just squish it on down like so and that will be dry in a few minutes and I can cut it out. And with the leather dry, I can just take a sharp razor blade and trim it neatly to the foot. And there we've got one foot for the bottom of the chessboard.